Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly energy for July 19th or 9th through the 15th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Generally my readings are love readings so if you're looking for a career or finance reading then this is not it. This reading is for somebody, it's not for everybody. This reading is not going to be for everybody, okay? Um, yeah. Repression, somebody has, has is feeling a loss of self, not listening to their intuition hidden agendas here so there's there's some kind of secrets as well secrets would cause a loss of self somebody needs to take a time out time out step back step back to become aware of what is causing this repression what's causing this loss of self what is it what, what do you need to remove what do you need to work on that I mean something is bringing some disorganization and chaos to your life it's causing some sort of overwhelming feeling of loss and you need to figure out what it is what is it that you deserve what do you need yeah overwhelming fears anxiety and resentment here the two of swords reverse this is overwhelming right now you guys are probably um either some fear of the unknown you see the truth you know the truth of a situation but it's overwhelming it's like information overload it is over and it's causing a it's causing a repression i think you you're seeing the truth of a situation but it's overwhelming but destiny is changing the wheel is spinning. You're being called to, to go with it. Allow it. This is good luck. Whatever is happening is happening for a reason. It's happening to restore balance in your life. Perhaps there's an opportunity that isn't being accepted. Maybe you're wanting more. Maybe you're bored in your current relationship or you're not feeling loved. You're not getting the attention that you need or that you deserve. It's realizing somebody is coming out of the darkness, seeing the light in regards to what love is supposed to be. I, I know what love is supposed to be. I see what it's supposed to be, and now I have to take action. So I feel as though other people see that you're, that you're overwhelmed, that you're stuck in your head. Other people see that you know the truth, but you're not taking action. <laughs> they see that. Other people see that. You know, you're probably innocent in some situation. You're being taken advantage of. Other people can see that. That you're mentally conflicted. And you've lost your way. Other people can see that you've lost your way. Your challenge is giving up on, 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 on an opportunity. That's your challenge. Let me make sure this is zoomed in. The overall outcome, though, is the Five of Pentacles reversed. This is, this is the end of difficulty. It's coming out of the darkness. So you are, should be starting to come out of this period of darkness and receiving something really good. Because the Wheel of Fortune is something that is really good. Good luck is coming. Something good is coming your way. But something needs to end. This is the death of an idea. Okay, something needs to end. Maybe you need to take this time out to figure out what it is that you need to let end. Something needs to end so that you can go through this period of recuperation and find your happiness again. Go back to when there was love, when there was happiness. There's an opportunity for new love here, Leo. Somebody that is better suited for you. This is unexpected. This person could come into your life unexpectedly. You could you or you could meet them unexpectedly. This person is not your usual type. This could be a soulmate connection. And you have to make a choice, perhaps, between two paths. When this lover's card comes up, I see it as an unexpected choice where you think you're 
you know who the one is, but that one that you think is the one is not the one, and you have somebody else that, that is better suited for you. So that's how I see that card. I feel as though you have to have faith, you need to believe in yourself, you need to listen to your inner guide, and you need to follow your own path. Really, really listen, okay? This is a Jesus consciousness. You see, it's pointing right up here at this hermit card. You need to become consciously aware of where you're at, why you're there, and what you deserve. You deserve love. You deserve a soulmate. You deserve to have somebody look in your eyes and say, I love you. You're the one. And feel it. And know it. You could be involved in a third party situation and you know, you need to let your friends help you at this time. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't have your best intentions at heart. This person is cold, they're withdrawn. Could be a, a water sign, could be any sign. They're not, they're not, they could be using emotional blackmail to keep you stuck. You know, and you're still focused on that hurt, that loss, that situation, when there's an opportunity for new love. There's, an op there's a new opportunity for love, two of cups, with a soulmate waiting for you. But you may be stubborn, you may be hard-headed, you could be dealing with an earth, any sign, earth sign as well. You're dealing, there's jealousy issues, there's wanting to control, wanting to control this, this situation, wanting to win. I want to win, I've got something to prove. When the fact of the matter is, you should be focusing on your future. Be patient and wait for that right ship to arrive. You don't just want any ship. You want the right ship. You want the one that's not going to sink. You're dealing with something that has no long-term staying power. I think that something was done impulsively and now you are paying for it. And it's time to act with integrity and do the right thing. Perhaps it's time for you to go down a new road. Something is, is, is false, okay? There's, there's some sort of breakdown, break up that needs to happen so that you can be happy again, so that you can rejoice again, and so that you can remember what love is, so that you can feel love. Something needs to fall apart and break down. It's false. It's not true. It's not real. It's not solid. It's not concrete. It's not stable. And you know what it is. But, you know, right now you're lying to yourself and it's time to remove this obstacle from your life. Yeah, it's going to bring some conflicts into your life. It may bring a little bit of tension, but in the end, you will feel relief. It's time to make that decision. Does the decision needs to be made? You need to speak up for yourself. You need to be assertive and you need to take care of you at this time. Put yourself first. Look at things from a different perspective. Step back. Take a time out and think about what is holding what's making you unhappy what is making you unhappy how are you going to handle it what do you deserve right now <laughs> you have been stripped of your energy your passion your excitement it's like somebody has put out that fire within you. It's time for you to, to relight it. Find that strength that has been lost and that confidence and that self-esteem and that self-worth. You need to not allow yourself. Don't pity yourself, okay? 
You stand up for yourself. Take back your fire. Take back your passion. Bring back your vibrancy. It's like somebody has brought your vibration down and it is time for you to bring it back. So Leo, I feel like this is a week of you really needing to take a time out to figure out what is causing this repression. What secret are you keeping inside? What's killing you? What's eating you alive? What's causing you resentment and unhappiness? You're in a situation that is less than fulfilling and it's up to you to figure out what you deserve and it's up for you to take action instead of letting this continue. Something needs to end. That four of swords is the death of an idea you, or a situation. It needs to end. Yeah, it's going to bring some conflicts. It's going to bring some tension. But in the end, it's going to bring relief. Independence. It's time to take care of yourself. Do what's right for you. Enjoy the finer things in life. Maybe it's, maybe it's time to be single. If you do, you probably won't be single for long. You'll probably find somebody within six months. But right now, you're letting yourself be manipulated, tricked, and deceived. Or this could be you deceiving yourself, not manifesting what you deserve. Ooh. So yeah, there's a there's a lack of strength, weakness, lack of courage, lack of confidence. You're definitely not in your element at this time. You need to do what's right for you to get yourself back upright. You need to get yourself right again, and you aren't. Somebody has totally stolen your energy. They've stolen your glow, your shine, brought you down to your knees and it is time for you to do what's right for you stand up for yourself speak up for yourself leo stop being lied to stop lying to yourself it's better to be independent and happy and enjoy the finer things in life than to be manipulated and lied to and live in an illusion Oh my God, I just shuffled and she's on the bottom again. I, I just got done shuffling. I'm telling you what. You guys need to get yourself right. You need to put yourself back on top. Don't stay in this space of poor, poor me. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. This, this this silent treatment that you're giving to others or giving to yourself, it's not helping you. It's not helping anybody. Speak up. Speak up. I feel as though right now you guys are, are feeling a lack of energy to do anything at this time because somebody is weighing you down and you need to take that time out and figure out what it is and do the right thing for you. So I feel like independence may be an option. This is a single woman, takes care of business on her own and she thrives while she does it. And she, look at her. She looks a lot better than this one because she's, she's happy. She's upright. She knows what she's worth. At this point, you don't, you don't, you're not seeing your worth. You're not getting creative. You lack confidence. You lack energy. You lack self-esteem. You lack self-worth. It's just like, poor, poor me. I'm sorry. That's what this is. And if you live in that mentality, then people will continue to take advantage of you. Don't let doubt and pride hold you back every thing that we do in life is a lesson it's a lesson chalk it up to a lesson learned and move on
Leo. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Perfect card. Somebody is in a relationship that isn't working out. And I know some of you are in denial and you don't want to hear this, but I don't care. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You need to get it out. Holding it in is killing you. Oh, we're going to use the other deck. Let your friends help you. Your friends can help you. They can help you to heal. They can help you to get through this. They can help you to get back right again. Love makes the difference. Oh my God. Love can help heal <laughs> past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance this is what you need you need to find that self-worth let your friends help you they still love you healing is needed don't be afraid to ask for help I'm sure they'll answer the call talk to you later